Hello! When the star field. Well, I'm going around trying to wrap up whatever's left. Um, one of the things I need to do is going to speak to someone named Luther. I think they are at a higher level, so a set of stairs over there. Maybe that'll help me find them. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we're actually much higher level. Okay, so this set of stairs isn't exactly helping. Tell you what, let's do it the old-fashioned way. So it's this set of stairs I need to use. So yeah, I mean, there's just a few things I'm trying to finish off. Careful out there. Because we've got all the artifacts, we could actually go to the next reality. But I'm just really reluctant to leave things. Things have never unfinished. been better since this trunks opened up. Makes me feel like we're actually part of the UC. Hello there. Welcome to the new Homestead Chunks. We've got all your Chunks favorites. Well, almost all of them. Sadly, we're out of the special sauce. I know, oh. I know. But everything else is still that great Chunks food you know and love. Oh, that's... <laughs> so, what can I do for you? That's disappointing, though. Well, how come you've... We're not a special sauce. I'm sure he's not... Like a big problem? If I'm completely honest, it is. The people are always saying how this chunks can't compare to the real deal. And I just know it's because we never had that mouth-watering sauce. Mm. I've been in contact with some of the other restaurants out there, and they'll give me some. But they say they can't afford to send it, and I don't have a ship, so what am I to do? Well, um... Hmm. Well... I'll tell you what, I mean, I could help out. Wait, for real? You do that. You're not pulling my leg. Oh, sure. No problem. Just tell oh, me where to go. Yeah, right. I actually just got a message back from another Chunks before you got here, and they got a case ready to go for me. Just tell them you're there to pick it up for me, and it should be good to go. Thanks. Okay. Then we shall do that. It's been a while since I last visited. Right, so we need to go and get some sauce. I'm still a bit puzzled about this one, I must admit. I have a sneaking suspicion. This is the whole cause of the problem. Because we've been told to go I and I doubt gather. we'll find any creatures around here. Well, no, that was just a joke, really. Um, Hang on. I have a sneak suspicion about this heart of Mars that we've been told about. It, it, it's some sort of legend or something about some really big piece of titanium. And I think the problem is, is it's it's a hoax. Because I've been here and I've been using my cutter, or at least the one that's about well, Teller's special cutter. For some reason it's not working. And I think it is because it's a hoax. So people keep coming here to actually try and get at this part of Mars and it just doesn't work. See? There's nothing there. There's nothing, literally nothing. I think I think somebody's telling porkies. Because you can think it's there. I'm being told it's there. That is the heart of ours, apparently. But no. It's not there. I I, I, I distinctly think I'm being told all this. I mean, I can keep cutting away until I'm, well, out of breath and all sorts, but normally when there's something to mine, this'll turn red. And I think it's... I think it's a case that's what's because she, she was saying that nobody comes back. I think that's probably why. Probably just keep coming here and then Yeah, drives them bonkers. Right. We're gonna go and get this source. Oh, we need to go to Aquila City. Okay. And we shall land in Aquila City. I must admit, part of the reason I'm staying is because I mean I managed to get more power for the ship, but I've got a bigger grab drive for it. 
and haven't had much chance to actually use it. I mean, we've got like a load of like guns at the front now. I mean, there's, there's, about, there's a few guns up at the top that we've got. I put ones around there, so I've got a total of like six of these Vanguard guns on this thing now. But unfortunately, I just don't get to use them. So it's a pity. I mean, I'll have to leave this all behind us. Because it's like Walter saying, I mean, you, you can't take anything with you when you go. Because my assumption is, Sorry. maybe you get turned into some energy form or something and you can materialize-ish in these other universes, realities. But it's not really you because, well, I've seen what happens to the star bomb. Sure. Right, so you've got the, the special sauce, have you? Welcome to... Thanks for choosing chunks. Which chunks would you like today? Well, actually, I'm actually here for some special sauce for the chunks over at New Homestead. Huh. I thought it was a joke at first, but yet, here you are. Let me get that for you. I wonder why they keep running out so quickly over there. Anyway, tell Luther I said hi. I will. Right. I'm gonna go back and see Luther. Just so you know. The only drawback is I do have a bit of landing problem movie. That's the one downside of the ship is it's too big. I mean it's you know class C. We should scan a... the area for mineral deposits. Okay, well first things first, I need to go back to the ship. Because for some strange reason I got out of the ship and decided to go and stand underneath the ship. However I managed to do that, I couldn't get back out again. And I seem to do it every time. I don't seem to learn my lesson. I don't seem to figure out what I'm doing is a dumb idea. Mom says later this year we can spend a whole week together. A week! Oh, that's cool. I'm glad to hear. I don't know. Oh, that's something else. That's so when we get to this new universe, I want to make sure that I've got a ship that's properly designed. Hey, now the party can get started. Finally. Okay, Barra. Um, yeah, I mean, people keep sleeping in the captain's bunk, and I, I don't know if it's because it doesn't have a door lock. I mean, it's kind of a, like a thorough effect, because it's like this building where it's got two entry points. So maybe people are just casually walking past and saying, oh, look, there's a nice bed to sleep in. It's nuts because I've gone out to sleep at this stage. I can't even sleep on my bed. It's shocking. Enjoy our visit here. I hope to. Right, so that should cheer him up anyway. There's not much else left to do. I mean, I can't get that hard of Mars, which sucks. So there's. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd have to randomly wander the. The system to try and find it more. Um, okay, good. Yeah, I'll, I'd have to wander around aimlessly looking for plates and tablets. I mean, as much as though there's other things I can do, I think I might kind of want to start from scratch. Which you're going to have to do anyway, as far as I can tell. Oh wow, I'll have no money either. Oh good grief. I'll have to find another way to make money. Intriguing. And nobody's gonna know me. Which is gonna be really intriguing. Boy, am I glad they have a chance Welcome back. here. Is that special sauce I smell? Ah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, actually it is. Alright, lay it on me. Let's take a look. Thanks a whole bunch. This is gonna put this place back on the map. Oh, I've got a chunks pack. Oh, thank you, sir. That is exactly what I needed. A chunks pie, a pumpkin pie. Oh, lovely. Right. Uh, we could go back to Janet and try and spook some more people, but and 
I'm not really enthusiastic about more ships. There's more work. Every time I go to New Atlantis, I'm always being asked for, well, I've been told about work for Sergeant Yumi. I don't want to do that, because that means getting involved with with gangs. And that one, I don't think that's fair, because that's about messing up somebody's nice brewing factory. In which case, I think we'll go and find out who Joyce is then. And what do I need? Hang on. It. Are you seriously telling me Joyce is here as well? It's so cold here. I guess I should have expected that. Okay. Welcome to New Homestead. Right, so I need to go and speak to Joyce because Janet, I think. Or is it? Yeah, Janet's the one who, she's the doctor who's got us going around scaring folks. What does Joyce want? Who is Joyce and what does she want? New Olmstead is a living history exhibit, but these yeah. are really... Yeah, this is where they originally were actually colonizing places. Um, Oh yeah, I stumbled upon this place. It's point. not easy keeping these ancient turbines going. I wish more people realized that. Oh, oh okay. hello there. Uh, are you here about the brownouts? That's usually the only reason people come up here to talk to me, since I'm the power system manager here. Um, oddly enough, yes, that is what I came to talk to you about. Of course you did. Uh, that's that's okay. It, it's a problem here. Citizens and visitors alike have a right to know what's going on and when to expect a fix. Problem is, I don't know how long we'll have to deal with this because I'm needed here to oversee the whole system and we don't currently have anyone available to go out and solve the issue at the moment. Ooh. Well, can I help? Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm a little new to the job and I'll admit I'm struggling a little bit. I could use some help. Well, I do know a bit about outposts, so chances are I might be able to, like, fix the problem. Oh, excellent. Then you must know how this old power system machinery can get crusted over with ice from time to time. That's what's causing these brownouts. Oh. I think you can take a laser cutter and break up the ice for us? Ooh, that would be easy for me. I actually used to be a miner. Oh, thank you. I, I guess I'm lucky you showed up then. Just be careful not to hurt yourself or the equipment. I'll continue to monitor things from here. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go and chop up some ice deposits, apparently. Interesting. Why do not like to send a security guard out there? Well, yeah. may not necessarily know what they're doing. Right, that's the way out. So, I see I'm going to be Otherwise, we could end up in a situation where if I break things uh, and the power stops working, well, they'll run out of oxygen. I mean, I, I don't think I can fit everybody on the ship, but is this something I need to factor in? Right, so there's one over there. Ooh. That's a doozy, that one. Okay. Oh, it's an ice deposit. Hey, save that for the battlefield. What's with you? I'm cutting ice deposits off. I'm helping someone with power problems. See, look. Look at that. See that over there? It's stuck. Because the ice deposits, so they're not, not getting enough power because of this. I'm helping. I'm not trying to kill anybody. And if I was, I was going to use some more better than that. See, look at that. See? Oh, my car's no problem. This is exactly what they needed. Somebody to come out here and fix a problem. I'm surprised it hasn't snapped or something. 
Right, let's remove this one. There we go. Um, coming through. Oh, what's that? A structure. I'm assuming that's just somebody's building. Nothing fascinating. And then there's two over here to remove. so hard. So all of the wind turbines are now budging. I'm assuming that's helped there. Well, oh, whatever they are. The real is maybe. Right. What's that big bright light over there? Did you know there's a big bright light over there? I'm intrigued as to know what it is. Hopefully it isn't due to... No, they're just lights. It's just because of the... The atmospherics. Right, we need to be down. Ah, right. I don't think there's a door in there. Right, I'm going to tell you what it is. You should sell it. You'd think there'd be like a company out there that sort of does this sort of thing for. Like, you know, regularly goes out, and, like a maintenance, you know, you'll have a you pay them for maintenance and they'll send somebody out on a regular basis to actually clear that sort of stuff out. I mean, there's got to be plenty of other planets or um, places that need that help. Anyway. I'm really glad you're helping us out. There you go. All sorted. Great. I just saw the readings and everything looks good. Thanks. I hope this lasts a little longer than last time. Yeah. Right, now what do we need to do? Uh, no, I don't want another shift. Oh yes, apparently there's a missing courier. So where's that at? Oh, darn, it was something we picked up there. Interesting. Yes, now I remember that, Gagar, and that was when we were helping Barrett, wasn't it? Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. And we're done. Ooh, Enjoy Gagarin. That would have been embarrassing. Right, so we need to go and land down there. Find out about a missing courier. It's no doubt somebody who just casually passed us by and said, Oh, there's a courier missing. Can you go and find them? And for whatever reason, we remembered and thought, you know what, maybe we should help these people out. And while we're here, how's about we get back on the ship? And. Uh, yeah. Yeah, get back on the ship and then we'll get off the ship. I quickly. have something for you, Captain. Do you? Thanks. Right. Let us try and find a way off of the ship. First, because that's kind of important. Right. Hello, dude. Your ship Hello, smells Cora. so much better than Dad's. Like a lot. Well, I do regularly get it cleaned. I mean, I've got a cleaning crew coming in on a regular basis. Right. Let's go down here then. So that's a bit concerning. How can somebody be missing a courier? I mean, did they just like throw the parcel and not bother turning up, or did they forget? Did somebody cancel the contract and not actually tell somebody, or ooh, something nasty happened? Pick something up for you. Right, let's go and find out about this, but I'll. Curious, what are you, oh, you, you, do you pick up like resources or something? You need something? me somewhere? Um, did you see I had something interesting? Certainly. This is for you. Oh, thanks. Is that everything? You, yeah, definitely useful. Yeah, Barrett's interesting because he usually gets your food. Um, uh, apparently I need to go upstairs. Have a nice day. You too. Uh 
what do I know if a robot can have a nice day? Um, hello? You're not the usual courier. Please tell me you're his replacement, and that you're just here to pay me a long overdue visit on his behalf. Well, actually, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm just hoping I can help you actually find this missing courier. Are you now? Yes. Look, I'm expecting a very important package. Very important. Yeah, what yeah. would you say to tracking it down for me? Quickly. I pay, and I pay well. Ooh. In that case, yes. Good. Let's get you on your way, then. You gotta tell me where I need to go? Any chance you're going to tell me? Akachi Rosenblum, United Transport, Gagarin Branch. Now, please. Akachi, it's Helena, over at Reliant Medical. Your courier never showed. I need his stops for the day. This is my I don't care voice, Akachi. Oh, and what's your firm's policy on losing our branch as a client? I thought so. Send it to my personal slate. Thank you, Akachi. Here, all the places our courier might have gotten waylaid. Oh, she okay. mentioned a panel or something that you can plug his ID number into at each delivery point. They should tell you if he's been there recently. The ID's 8148. When you do finally track him down, you can tell him you'll be completing delivery. Now go get me my package. Please. Oh, you said please. Since you said please... So, are you going to buy it? I will. I was very considerate of you. I'm glad you said please. I was starting to get the um, impression that this wasn't a good idea. So they might have already been here. That's ah right. So we're not going to a different planet then. Courier eight thousand one hundred forty-eight detected. Error. You have already checked in at this drop-off location. Please resume standard route. Oh. Okay. So they have been there. Did you hear? Trial was a success. Really? And not only that, some of the zoologists at Mast have even asked Greetings, me Captain. to write the paper the on my findings. Out there. Oh, that is cool. It feels good to have done the right thing. Good for you, Helgi. Good for you, uh, Dr. Helgi. Right, so they've been here. Error. You have already checked in at this location. Please huh. resume route. So, this is where they've already been. So we know where they've been delivering. Uh, actually, that's a thought. Well, I'm intrigued. So I the 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 shut down the other day for a corporate investment. Yeah, I think that's security up there. So they haven't been here, which suggests that's the last place they went to. Right, before we do that, um let me see if I can have a chat with a lawyer. Try wearing security armor. Oh, that kind of hot. I thought you meant the other kind of hot. Like as in the trunk. I mean I'm wearing a like a ranger uniform. Just saying. We should get we should catch up sometime. Later. Uh so do you need to see for the trial? Don't worry about it. For this case, I expect the paperwork to climb up the stairs and the verdict to fly out the window. So even if I did have a courier send you a court date, you'd never get here in time. But whatever awesome. the outcome, I'll make sure you and Barrett are the first to know. Well, I didn't hear because Helgi actually told me. Well, detectives, you did the heavy lifting. Now it's my turn to close. But it's not as simple as waving the proof in somebody's face, especially with a case this old. There's appeals that have to be filed, legal proceedings, bureaucracy, the whole nine. My recommendation is you and Barrett take some time off. Travel the galaxy, see the sights. I'll send him a message when I have some actual news. Hmm. Okay. Good chatting with you again. I'm puzzled. 
Why haven't you been told? You weren't told to me. And yet apparently the trial's been successful. And this, and this Helgi's had too much to drink. I mean, that's you have any problems? Me. You should talk to Chief Pretorius. She oh, okay. You. Right, what's down there? And how do we get down there? What is that check-in point down there? I am suddenly intrigued. What the heck is going on down there? So I don't see it as way down. Oh, there. Oh, I've got a horrible feeling. Did they have an accident? Somebody killed a courier to get that package, so the question is, what is the package? Normally I wouldn't be asking, but in this case I have to. Been an um, uptick in strongly worded graffiti Yeah, yeah, I need to talk to... Your vanguard. I need to talk to security and report this. I mean, that's a murder. I mean, I know I, I, know I should be talking to her, but I need to talk to the security chief. I was thinking about going for a hike outside the canyon. You're not the security chief. There's a security chief. You let Zaneda know that if she steals too many of my people, I'm drafting her antique tail for security duty, okay? Now, what can I do for you? Um, is there a, like a lot of crime in Kagarin? We've had our issues. Some folks aren't thrilled about the corporations moving in, but the majority don't act on it. Those that do, largely keep it civil. Protest, throw some paint, the occasional crate wanders off. But we've managed to avoid any open conflict so far. It's really hmm. not a bad assignment. Um, and, uh, how long have you been on the job? Well, I came here right after training, which was ten years ago now. Gagarin was a lot rougher then. People were still reeling from all the plants getting shut down after the war. So there was a lot of petty theft, break-ins. I was responsible for putting together a pretty busy community outreach program. Worked out well enough that they eventually made me chief. And anything I should see while I'm in Gagarin? Gagarin's not really that sort of burg. Most of the restaurants went belly up when the mech trade shut down. Only one left is Lizzie's. On the other side of town, though it does have a nice view of the square. There's also a little social club. The local executive set up across from Lizzie's. But it's still pretty light on amenities. Now, if you're just looking to resupply, then you'll want Clint's. Another case of last business standing. But he's got a good selection. And for medical supplies, you'll want Dr. Keala. You can find both of them on the main concourse. Beyond that, we're just corporate offices and private homes. Pity. Just stay out of trouble. Well, I wanted to, but I wanted to report a murder, but you don't seem interested. Salutations. For some reason. Please ask a supervisor. Sure, last time I talked, I actually asked if there was like anything I needed to report. Back at last. Did you find the courier? And more importantly, my package? Yes and no. Um, the, the, I mean, the, the problem is the courier's dead and whatever was in your package is gone. My God, dead? 
Well, yeah. I suppose that explains why my employee, Mr. Maximoff, disappeared so suddenly. And why the tracking beacon I installed on his ship was detected fleeing the planet. Here, Jeez, your payment please. for finding the courier. It seems you've got some chops when it comes to investigation. What would you say to finding Mr. Maximoff for me? Seeing what he knows about where our data might have wandered off to. Um, okay. I mean, just out of curiosity, why did you put a tracker on your employee's ship? Mr. Maximoff is, was, and may still be one of Reliance's most ambitious young executives. His business is Reliance business. If he ah. was to do something rash, like run off with Reliance confidential and proprietary data, then it's our responsibility to know that. Hence the tracker. And why okay. I'd appreciate your help in confirming if that's the case or not. Then I shall go look for him. Excellent. Mr. Maximoff, Bonifant, appears to have set down on another world here in Alpha Centauri, Holy. Go there and see what he may know on the subject of our fallen courier and our missing data. I have a sneaking suspicion he actually knows a lot. I mean, I'm just saying. I think he does know a lot. I don't think I've been there. Intriguing. So what is that? So he's on a... No, he's on a non... Why would he go to an open? Why not? He said he don't want to be wandering around in the middle of nowhere. And why would he do that? Landing site is sufficient. Unless he's a witness. Taking the ship down. It's quite possible he was just a witness in his... Well, he was like, oh, hand, he, yeah, he was being involved in espionage. Captain Dan, hello. Hello, Vasco. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Suma, so, I could have fallen out of a bunk bed. When all that trouble of getting a captain's gun quarters, and what happens? I end up in a bunk bed. Swim. Makes you wonder why I actually bother getting one now. I can't even. I mean, I'm the captain. Like, yeah, as far as I'm aware, I'm the captain of the ship. Surely, surely it's the captain that sleeps in the captain's quarters. I mean, it's a privilege you get with like the position. Oh, that's a thought. Have you seen any resources while we've been around by any chance? Probably pointless, but you know. But I want to get the practice in. Next time I'll leave this system. Well, I'll see the next time. When I leave this system, reality, whatever you want to call it, I think I might get more involved in like building out posts, maybe. So instead of being somebody who got involved in mining, hunting hard. Maybe we'll get more into surveying. Because those, those missions that you get from the Constellation crew, they're quite lucrative. They are time consuming, I understand it. I'm also quite intrigued to see what we can do uh, without posts. Now that's lit. Cool. So the only thing I think we're missing is your main. Hmm. I wonder what this little rascal's been up to. I say it could go either way. Might be innocent. Might be guilty. One way to find out. Whoa, hang on a minute. What are the eclipse doing here? Shoot them, you know. 
I'm not going to stop you. Oh! Oops, I can't have a cross by. Hang on, was that? Oh, that's you. I'll let you off. Pity things had to end like this. Oh. Good job, Major. Spotted one. There's one over here. Oh, we're in the building. Or are they? Are they? Are they outside? Inside? So am I. I'm searching for you if you must know. Sweet brush? Oh, there you go. There you go. Consider yourself sweet. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. See, that's what I was looking for before. Credits, sealants, metabolic agents. Every time I see one of those, I'm always tempted to shoot it. But it would be painful, I imagine. Yeah, I think there'll be somewhat painful consequences if I did. Right, come on. Where is this rascal guy? I think there's another ecliptic out here somewhere. I mean, maybe they got pressured by the ecliptic. Oh. Ooh. Maybe the ecliptic actually stole his ship. Maybe they killed him and stole his ship. I don't think I need a serial. Oh, smoke salmon panel. I don't think I need any worms. Coolants. Oh, a space rogue outfit. Now that would be impressive. It's more than just a simple misunderstanding. Right, I need to heal myself. Apparently I've got frostbite. That's embarrassing. Right, I think it's heal gel, isn't it? I want heal gel. Can't go wrong with a bit of heal gel. What the heck are they? Oh, hang on a minute. Be hang on, hang on. If this can give me access to turrets, I will be very appreciative. Oh no, can that do that? Do there. Aha. In which case that one's gotta go there. And that one's gotta go there. Oh, the robots are on our side. Activate them. There you go, we've now got rope battalions. Or at least one. I saw one. I'm not gonna complain. You can help out, you know. I'm just saying. Only an entryway key can get this. Oh. Bunch of goals. Have you got a key? 
No. Maybe one of these ones has got a key. I could do with a key. I'm just saying. See, I don't want to. Oh, oh. Don't want to really get out of here until I'm not rid of the actual. Oops. I could have sworn I heard something. Yeah, I think they did as well. Just a bit embarrassing. I don't think they're all as appreciative when you start them. Causing problems. Ooh! Oh, shoot them. I'm not going to complain. Still alive. Okay, I don't think they're alive. Ow, 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 ow. Where are you? No, you're behind the wall. How did you manage to shoot me from? How did you manage to. Oh, you must have been in there. Oh dear, did you get hurt? That's a shame. Uh, I get the impression you're not coming out, are you? You're not coming out to play? No, turns out no. Such a shame. Mm, it's double, double. I didn't particularly want double, double, but. That makes no sense to me. You have to search for more things. Something that might make more sense as to what the heck is going on. Because they're all holed up suggesting he was kidnapped. So what the heck's so bad? Okay, well. Try some of that. Maple cola. Mm. Whoa. Looks like they were holding him hostage. I wonder if he stumbled onto something. Huh. That one's not going to work there. So that oh, that's convenient. Have we got one? Yes, we do. Is that gonna go? So that will go there, then we've got a possible three. Not that one. So you need a that one there then. There. Ah. What have we got here then? Weapons case. I'll have them. And do them. Right, let's just keep having a walk around. Ooh, I don't need one. Uh, I'll have the ammo. I won't say no to ammo. There's no sign of a key though. Keep your eye out for a key. I think we need one. Oh, 
Chains and Lost Hall. Ooh, Terra Brew. What do we get? Oh, the Ottawa. I don't think I've had one of those ones. Square one. Sixty four million dollar question is can I get in that door? Are, are you here for me? Well, don't just stand there, help me. Hold on, hold your horses. Midnight delight. Ooh. What's that tea? Oh, it's not. It's turkey. I'll get to you in a minute. Don't worry. Right. Here to explain what the heck's going on. Thank God. Ugh. You know, I honestly didn't expect UC security to get here so... Wait, you're not with security? Who who are you? Well, oddly enough, your boss sent me to find you. Helena? Oh, you're here to collect Reliance Research data. Not me, aren't you? That is very astute, mind I'll say that. Why am I not surprised? I bet she told you I was a suspect too. Mm -hmm. Look, I didn't take the data. Maldonado, the man responsible for killing the courier, stealing my ship, and dragging me here, he's got the data. He's looking to auction off our research and frame me for the theft. But that son of a bitch crossed the wrong man. What do you say we go get Reliance property back? Um, <laughs> we aren't doing anything. Uh, I, I, you just stay put and I'll go and collect You don't need to worry about me. We'll both be safer with someone watching our backs. Now, no more arguing. Let's go. Maldonado's quarters are towards the rear of the facility. Don't worry, though. I'm sure you noticed he didn't exactly pay for Ecliptic's finest. No Ecliptic A team would have missed a pistol on their only captive, for example. And I took several firearms courses before my transfer to Gagarin. This should be child's play. Okay. I think you're nuts, but you know, one of the floaty bull. Oh, hold on. Oh, I forgot that the security robot was on my side. Oh, never mind. Never mind. My bad. I mean, oopsie. It was a genuine mistake. I mean, it looked dangerous. That, that, you know, that'll stand up in a court of law. It looked dangerous. I had to shoot it. I mean, it could have shot me. What would have happened if I, if I hadn't shot it? I didn't shot... Well, yeah, I suppose you could argue that. I can't really say I did it in self-defence. Well, I could obviously, because it could have shot me. I'm not saying it did shoot me, I'm just saying it could have shot me. 
And that would have been pip. What's oh. the meaning of all this? I am not to be. <sighs> Bonifant. So Reliant sends a longer murk of their own, then. Mm -hmm. Shut it. Hand over the data, or I'll promise you'll regret it. Well, look at that fire. Junior executive, no more. The answer is no, Mr. Maximoff. This data is worth a lot of money to my potential buyers. Of course, it doesn't have to be just me that benefits. Now, if Reliant sent you, then you've had the uh, pleasure of meeting Ms. Strickland. Mm, lovely woman, don't you think? Look, that's not really relevant. Just give me the deal. Well, I just want to let you know that you're playing for the wrong side here. Helena Strickland is a credit-pinching hag who won't pay you a fraction of what this data is actually worth. In the right hands. I, however, understand the importance of appropriate compensation. I will pay you, handsomely, right now, to turn around, get back in your ship, and inform Helena that our Bonifant here betrayed her. That he killed the courier, stole Reliant's precious data, but was then tragically killed during the handoff with Ecliptic. I'll even handle the killing part myself. What do you say? Quiet! It's not gonna work! It's not, right? He killed a bloomin' courier. Seriously. Look, I said it before, and I've said it again. Hand over the deal. Hmm, well, I can't say I didn't try. But, um, I've got an auction to plan, so I guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. Ta-ta. Bad decision you're ever making. Now, I think he had the data on him. Want to take a look? Let's mm. get Reliance property back. Data's intact? Thank God. I'll take my own ship back to Gagarin. I'm sure Helena will be. Well, she'll be happy to see you, at least. Yeah, she wasn't only really concerned about you for some strange reason, because she thought you were the suspect. Oh well, say la vie. Uh, I can't be bothered with that. How is about we go and give her the good news? As in, give her a data back. I mean, seriously, I mean, like, what about the courier, the courier's family? Assuming he's got a family or had a family. I mean, that just. I don't know. Oh! Sorry! That, that was close. I went, I went to press that button. Oops. Oopsie! Why did I do that? I think it was a Freudian slip. How did you see me show up on the cockpit? I did. I accidentally threw a grenade. Explain that, will you? Why did I just suddenly throw a grenade? I wasn't even trying to. I was trying to get back on the ship. Why would I throw a grenade if I was trying to get back on the ship? It makes no sense. Right, we shall go and give her the good news. Whatever that news happens to be. It's got to be good. I think. Well, I assume it is, because she'll get our data back. I mean, so much she thinks about her employee. Maybe it's a case of she still suspects he's guilty. He might have had some hand in it, you know, a tip off or something. He could have been now that I think about it. How did this other guy know about the data being delivered by a courier? How did he, you know, I mean, how did he actually know it was data for one thing? Definitely intriguing. If my services are inadequate, please leave a complaint so I can improve. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Right, he's not back yet. You're back? Without Mr. Maximoff. Is... is he alright? 
You didn't have to deal with him, did you? Uh, no, it was it was actually that. Well, basically, there was a thief by the name of Maldonado. So it wasn't your employee. Maldonado. I know that name. He's a renowned data broker. Black market. I'll have to let corporate know about his involvement. And that you managed to stop him. This was good work. Excellent work. Speaking of which, would you be so kind as to hand over the data? Hmm. So... You know this, Maldonado. By reputation only, I assure you. We're not the only firm that's had research or client data simply wander off, then crop up in the hands of a criminal element. And that name cropped up in more than a few of them. So it does seem that you've spared us from becoming his next victim. Hmm. Okay, here's the... data. And here you are. I included a little extra, for all the added trouble you no doubt faced. You have reliance and my gratitude. Well, I think your employee is probably more pleased because he's alive. Right then. That's interesting. Oh, there you go. Um. Ah, look, I can make a little time. But I'm pretty swamped. So, are you, are you okay? Well, I made it out alive thanks to you. So I'd say things are going pretty well. But sorry, I should really get back to it. Okay, you do that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Vasco. Nice to see you. Now then. Now then, now then. I think it's time we took ourselves somewhere else. I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, there's, there's things I've still got to do. Let's have a look. I mean, there are some things I could still do. I mean, that's just helping to spook people. I've no idea where to find that now. I'm sick of getting, well, Security keep reminding me he's got work. It's zero fresh. I'm not overly fond of building fish again or whatever that was. Uh, beer run, no, we don't want to spoil his brew. I don't want to get involved in the gang. I don't want to keep wandering around the universe looking for evidence. And that's just not happening. So, really, that is all I've got left to do. I mean, there are other things, to be fair, there are other things I could do, but... Let's... Right, folks. It's a one-way ticket. I hope you're prepared. I think all aboard. It's coming aboard. Everybody else, go away. Or you can stay on the ship afterwards, I'm... Well, maybe. Who knows? We shall see what's going to happen. Up and away. Yep. Now, just so you know, I haven't done this before, so I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I've literally got no idea. Orbit achieved. Okay, so we are going to grab drive to somewhere else. What the heck? It seems appropriate. We're going to. Grab drive to. Uh, oh, let's grab drive to Venus. Grab driving is currently disabled. Okay. Power up the grab drive. Oh, it would help. Yes. Duh. There we go. That wasn't so difficult. Looks strange. 
This looks very strange. Um, okay, this looks like the universe. And um, I mean, there's all those solar systems. Bizarre. How is this possible? And who knows that? What is that? Hang on, that's me. Why am I here? You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. Okay. But you... Well, you're, um... You're me. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. Hmm. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Well, not really. I can't honestly say I regret anything. I mean, yeah, you know, I've done pretty much everything I could have done. I'm not really bothered there's things I would like to have done, but I couldn't. That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. I mean, the Starbone said I would be reborn. Say, this sounds like death, though. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes Starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Oh. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become Starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. Hmm. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You can turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. Wait a minute, so we have done this. Well, the As you consider stepping done towards this. infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. So what's that? By defeating both the Hunter and the Emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, wow. uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. Huh. Okay. And what happens to Constellation? The Constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. 
Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for home out there in the stars. Hope's downfall proves once again that the Free Star Rangers put justice above petty power plays and politics. A sense of commitment to the common good grows throughout the Free Star Collective. Acts of heroism and noble sacrifice increase. Hmm. And what about the terrible bear morphs? The resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems. Okay. At the same time, the need to spread the Asili's far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions. Belief in the UC as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. because we got involved with Ryujin Industries, didn't we? Oh, please tell me they're not going to start using that... ...dodgy... Luminous. Although you leave My this thing. universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? Hang on, hang on. What choices will you make? Hang on, hang on. What about Ryujin? What happens to Ryujin? Ryujin Industries dismantles the internal Neuroamp and keeps its existence a secret. The company is successful, but quieter. Every new operative that is hired hears the story of your rise through the corporate ladder and looks to emulate your success. What about the Crimson Fleet then? Your work with UC Sysdef against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. The UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safer. Okay, well, I think that's that's quite a lot I've done. I must admit to help me. Interesting. You can return to your universe if you wish. No. Seems to be these other versions, if you will, of me seem to have been through here before, so yeah, let's do that.
definitely interesting then. I'm suddenly intrigued then. What the heck have we done? Hmm. Guess we'll have to wait and find out. What else would you expect? We are now starborn. Except we can go all the way back again. So, this is intriguing. So we've got... Not a lot. I mean, we've got a starborn space suit. Nothing else. We've got a starborn ship. And we've got the frontier somehow. No idea how. We've got all of our skills intact. Yep, I've still got two to spin. Hmm. Go to the lodge. Okay, so we are now, um, yeah, so, I've got to admit I'm not overly impressed with the ship, I mean there's some items in storage there. Hmm. I mean, what have we actually got in this ship? So it's an A. You can have up to five crew, which is something. 630 shield. Mm, okay. I might be inclined to sell it if I can. <laughs> so it's still officially damn dangerous, so that's something. We are now a starborn. And I get the strange feeling that out there I'm all starborn. So we're just going to be doing what we did before effectively, but we can do things differently. Hmm. So what will we do in this life? We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I love this part. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Human settlements throughout the galaxy could be at risk. We are not stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. This is where we belong.